All right, what's up you guys? I figured I would redo the how to drive stick shift video because originally I wasn't even in a moving car. And also, why not do it in a WRX because that's the car that I'm saving up for anyways. So let's get right into it. Shout out to mother nature for the bipolar ass weather. So like I said in the previous how to drive stick shift video, you got your clutch, your brake, and then your gas right here. And then you're gonna have your manual gearbox. So this one's a six speed. Um, and then for reverse, you just go ahead, push the clutch in pull up pull back like that now we're in reverse so the clutch pedal basically all it does it disengages your clutch and your flywheel so that there's no power going from your engine to your wheels that way you can go and shift through your gears what that means is anytime that you're shifting this anytime that this is moving at all you're gonna want to make sure that your foot is pushed down on the clutch all the way so when you're getting ready to switch gears or you know take off or do anything like that you're gonna to wanna to make sure that your foot is on the clutch all the way, like I said before. And then before you take your foot off the clutch, when you're getting ready to drive and give it gas, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that it's kind of modulated a little bit. Cause what'll happen is if you just come right off the clutch, the car is gonna stall out. I'm not gonna do that because I hate that feeling. It's terrible. So you need to make sure that you're giving it, you know, the right amount of gas or else, like I said, you'll stall or you'll just rev it up really, really high like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and do a light takeoff now. So ready, engage, first gear. And as I'm letting off the clutch, I'm giving it gas. And now we're starting to move. And then once you start to move a little bit, yep, you can go ahead and get off now. I'm completely off of it now. Still in first, still in first. Now I'm in second. There we go. Super duper simple. Now when it comes to doing turns, you might have to go ahead and press on the clutch a little bit. That way you don't actually stall out. All right, and real quickly, I will also show you how to launch a car for real. So basically to go ahead and launch a car, you're just gonna go ahead and do the same thing that you've been doing, except you're gonna do it a little bit quicker. and that will be classified as a soft launch. Driving stick is one of those things that kind of just, once you get the hang of it, you can never really forget how to do it. It's like riding a bicycle, actually. Like there's heel toe downshifting and rev matching and all those things that I, I will definitely go over in the future. But I wanted to just kind of go over the basics again of how to drive stick shift and like give you visual examples. So you got your shifter here. Anytime you move this, you're gonna want your foot on the clutch. So anytime you're going from gear to gear, you're gonna push in. And at the same time as you're pushing that clutch in, you're going into gear. And then when you're ready to move, you're gonna give it gas as well. There we go. And once you start rolling, you can go ahead, get off the clutch. Next gear. And there you go. You're driving stick. Now for downshifting, it's gonna be the exact same thing, just in reverse. Whenever you're getting ready to go from second to first or from third to second or whatever, you just foot on the clutch, off the gas, just push it into whatever gear you need to go to. But honestly, that is pretty much it. I'm sorry that it was a really short video. I just kind of wanted to redo that really quickly. Quick side note though. I totally appreciate the almost 400 views on the original WRX video. Let's see if we can shoot for 200 plus views on like every video that we get. It really helps me out a lot. And also, don't forget to subscribe. Now with that being said, I will totally do one more pull for you guys.